Hi everyone! First I would like to say happy 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 new year to all of you. Today I would like to show you how to create a back to school slash everyday makeup tutorial just because I'm not sure if you go into school or work so I want to make sure that it works for everyone. Uh, that's something that you can create with affordable uh, long wearing makeup that looks natural, flawless, and not inappropriate for school. <laughs> because this is the number one rule that we're going for today. Uh, so let's get started. Start with a moisturizing cream. I use this product every morning when I get out of the shower and at night. It's called Yes to Tomato Daily Moisturizing Cream. Just because if you wear makeup regularly, you want to make sure that your skin can breathe underneath the makeup. I already applied some, so I'm not going to apply it again. But um, I want to show you guys one last time just in case you want to get the same product that I'm using. It's called Yes to Tomatoes Daily Moisturizing Cream. Moving on to the concealer, I use Maybelline number 10 for light skin and uh, I absolutely love this product because it has a nice light natural finish and you just have to apply a little under your under your eyes and on your lid and blend it in nicely with your finger careful with your eyes then apply a little powder. I'm absolutely in love with uh, Sephora uh, for light skin number 21 just because you can easily throw it in your purse or your backpack and then you can just uh, reapply it throughout the day whenever your skin gets a little oily and it comes with a little sponge so you don't need a brush and also with a little mirror so you can see what you're doing <laughs> and all you have to do is just uh, dab it in and apply a little on your skin all over. And now moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm going to start with uh, by Ravelin Wet and Dry Palette using the dark brown color with my small regular grease brush and kind of create a V-shape by going down on my grease line towards my lash line. And nicely I'm going to be smudging in with a smudging brush. <laughs> Now apply a brighter pinky or shade color on your lid. Uh, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Sweet S Candy, this pinky color, with my regular bigger grease brush. And for my highlight, I'm going to be creating it with the same uh, palette that I used earlier by Wet n Wild Sweet S Candy. And, um, I'm going to apply the lightest color on my brow bone and also on the corner of the eye because we want to brighten the eyes since uh, we're going for the more natural and youthful look and this is the best way to create it. And now let's add a little liner. I like to use liquid eyeliner just because it won't smudge throughout the day like the black eye pencil would. I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Mega Liner and just create a nice thin line by stretching your eye out and start by the inner corner of the eye. And of course mascara. I like CoverGirl uh, Lash Blast Volume just because it has a boosting formula that is designed to max out each and every lash of yours which is really important in my case because my lashes are really short and thin. So if you're having the same trouble as me, I recommend Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl and you want to apply it on the top and on the bottom of your lashes. And this is it for the eyes and now moving on to the cheeks and lips. Uh, I recommend something natural and light so you don't have to keep on applying it on and on throughout the day. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Victoria's Secret called Starlight because it's also, it also has a little shimmer in it which I uh, really love. And you just want to dab it in your blush brush 
and apply it on your cheeks. for the lips also something very natural uh, by Clinique it's called Plusha Sponge uh, number five this is how it looks like and it's a moisturizing lip color balm that I absolutely adore and all you have to do because it has a really strong color that you just uh, apply a little on the top of your lip and uh, just press your lips together quickly I would like to show you guys my hair routine um, I went with a nice twist on the side this is uh, my natural everyday look just because I also have short bangs and sometimes I like to get rid of it and this is the best way to do it to twist it to the side and uh, cross it with two uh, bobby pins I hope you guys like it and this is it for my everyday back to school makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy my video. Let me know what you guys think. And also if you try this look, please tell me how it worked out for you. I would love to hear about it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my videos. And uh, otherwise, good luck in school or work if you have to work. And I hope we're all going to have amazing 2013. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye.